Hello everyone, it's Anna here. Today I have a little haul uh, to share with you. I got this gorgeous, gorgeous Jean Davenport uh, products by Spellbinders and I will be <coughs> creating a video uh, using them. But first I wanted to show you all the pretty goodies. This is die cutting machine and it has this pretty mint color so it's just perfect for my uh, craft room which is white and mint and look at those gorgeous gorgeous mermaids drawn by uh, Jay. I am in love with her style and I love this machine I think it's the prettiest machine ever in the whole <laughs> scrappy world and it comes like this you have to unfold it to uh, make it ready to be used and it also it also comes with this handle that is unscrew and all you have to do to have your machine ready to scrap is to screw this uh, handle and it's ready it's rolling uh, you also get um, all plates you need to uh, to cut and to emboss there is also this pretty uh, guide uh, that guides you through how to use the machine and what combination of plates to use and as you can see mine is totally new I haven't used it yet mm. I am a little bit stressed because you know when you use your machine first uh, they the plates that just crack and it makes me cringe um, so uh, yeah I will be uh, relieving this scary moment and as you can see all the guides are here and you have them in I think three or four languages English French uh, Spanish and that's it and here are some uh, ideas uh, of the products uh, for the projects uh, with the Jane Davenport products for spell binders and as you can see it's also pretty just as the uh, die cutting machine and I also got uh, some goodies from their new range. There will be stamps, there will be dice, uh, alcohol markers, um, and some uh, stencils and few other fun stuff. And I will show you what I've got. I have the set of smooth markers. They are called smooth markers. They are alcohol based, uh, alcohol ink based markers. They have dual tip. Um, and there are two sets. Uh, each set contains 12 colors. This set is, uh, uh, as you can see, filled with most of the colors. So we have pink, purple, few of the blue and uh, turquoise, some green colors. So they are perfect for the C kind of uh, projects. The second set of those markers uh, have the skin tones uh, so you can easily paint faces with them so this is it I will show you how handy they are packed and I already opened one of them which one I opened this one so they are all foiled you have to open each uh, each of them separately and I will show you how this one looks it has this triangular shape and each uh, each marker uh, have two tips, the um, wider one and <coughs> the narrow one, so you can easily write with them. And uh, this is the Nina uh, Solar White craft card stuff. So this is how this tip draws. It's quite stiff. It's not like a brush. Uh, it's more like a marker and this is how how the, uh, the smaller tip draws so this is the comparison between two of them and this is the lines with the uh, with the tip um, are they named somehow I am not I'm not sure but the this is the comparison between the tip and they are not that um, that soft tips like brushes so uh, I am not sure how they will go with coloring um, coloring images um, all the uh, all the markers have their names uh, I'm checking it right now 
Uh, I am not sure how it, it will work with refills because there are none uh, right now, but probably they will be added to the range. So we have those uh, markers. We also have beautiful, beautiful dies. I don't have all of the dies that are in this collection. I have sets one, two, three, four, five sets of the dies. And I got the die with this cute, cute, cute unicorn. And there is also kind of a scallop uh, and heart on the string. And this is how the design looks. I will uh, unpack one of them and cut with my new machine. So you'll be able to see uh, how they work. And this design has those waves and few inscriptions and this is we were mermaid for each other and this is how it looks the design another set is the set of those uh, sea flowers and oh it's called it's called sea flower this one with unicorn is called happy little unicorn and this one uh, is called mermaid for each other and they are very very um how can i say it they have very thin lines uh, as you can see so uh, it won't be easy to uh, use 3d foam squares like i like to to use uh, but i really like how pretty and whimsical they are another uh, set is called you are unique and there are a set of stars but they are all like hand drawn set of hearts and uh, you are unique inscription and this is how they look all the stars can be cut separately this is not uh, the line of the stars and the last set i got is this pretty mer tail and we have a mermaid tail and two uh, uh, one shell and one sea star and this is how the designs look and let me cut what I should cut first? Maybe this mermaid tail. I will open the die. Look at the color of the dies. Usually spellbinders have a gold uh, gold dies like this one. Uh, and the Jane Davenport line is uh, mint. And I love this color. It matches the they cutting machine <laughs> yay so okay let me uh, let me check how i should make my sandwich i think those are those are the embossing dies okay i have this one this one piece of paper let me let me cut it to the proper size okay so this is the piece of paper i don't think they are no they are all the same so it doesn't matter and now i have to place my die and cover it with the second pink uh second pink plate okay let's roll it with the machine it, it didn't crank will go back because with this uh, very detailed die it's sometimes good to, uh, to do the double cut it all depends on how thick the tape paper you use are is okay so let's remove the machine and this is how the die looks die cut looks oh my god so pretty and so sharp and the cut out is you know every element just pops out easily so the quality is perfect uh, i will not remove them all right now because it will take some time i just want to <coughs> remove most of them to show you how pretty this mermaid tail is so voila you can easily punch those out but they are small so i would need a tool to do it <coughs> And if you have um, this uh, tool from Spellbinders, uh, you can easily remove the leftovers from the die. I do not have this tool, but I think I should buy one because those dies are really, really detailed and it's not easy to 
just uh, take them out you need to poke them with some uh, needle okay so this is the die and um, let me check uh, the plate it didn't crank but you can see the impression of the die uh, here but this is totally normal this is the part of the uh, machine that it, it's being used so you have to um, buy new uh, new uh, plates from time to time but it also takes ages to use them so do not worry that you will have to buy uh, buy them uh, quickly no uh, you should buy one when um, the older one is going is bending creating um, this um, new shape okay so I don't know what I'm doing right now I wanted to clean here but I will leave it like this okay so i have those dies and all i i also have the set of free um free stencils as you can see uh, here are the uh, um, the elements i have a face and uh, I, it looks like a hibiscus flower another a face and uh, looks like a poppy flower and another face with two other flowers so this is one set i think there are three different sets uh, in uh, this uh, new line the flower girl stencils this is the name of this particular one there are also a few others and i'm going what i want to do is to show you uh, that they have those holes and those holes are made because this uh, stencil fits into this binder that is created for uh, by spellbinders to hold all the elements from this collection so there are there is a place for all the um, stencils uh, there's also a uh, pockets uh, for all the dice so you don't have to store them in the original packaging packaging you have you can store them in this binder and have all the elements of this collection uh, together and easy uh, to take out and play uh, somewhere on the go and this is how the stencil looks as you can see the flowers are quite big also the faces are quite big so they will be perfect for our journaling uh, and for layouts too layouts this is what i do mostly that's why uh, i usually uh, great things uh, if they are useful for layouts uh, or not for the cards it may be a little bit too big but uh, any other project would be fine and the last thing i got is this uh, washi tape um, sheet i would say uh, this one i already opened look at them each uh, there are two sets one set has the signatures and the second set has uh, figures of girls and this set contains four pieces two of each uh, two of each design so we have four elements and they are quite big i think they are bigger than a four size and it's basically all um, a sticky tape in one sheet so you can take it like it is and create a cover for something you can uh, put it on your laptop uh, or uh, other device you can also cut out the elements and use them uh, as um, i would say ephemera pieces and you can also take a die cut uh, die and cut into it and have some fun elements that are easy to add to the projects because they have the sticky side and the washi is very very thin and just like the uh, washi tape so i think it might be even a little bit translucent i am not sure but if you will glue it onto the dark background uh, it might change the colors of the elements uh, but uh, what I'm going to do is to cut out elements. So I will cut out the mermaids. I will cut out the seahorse and use them on my project. Uh, I am not sure if I will unstick it uh, on the back side or I will use it like a ephemera piece. It's very versatile and you can do whatever you want with this, um, with this, uh, with this set. 
So we have two sets of these washi tapes. There are also uh, stickers that have some foilings and they are white so you can use your alcohol markers to customize them and paint over them. And there are also uh, pretty stamp sets. I do not have any uh, stamp set but they uh, have similar motifs like uh, the uh, like the stencils um, and there are also fantastic inks, <laughs> squid inks, so they have this uh, shape of a scallop and you can nest them one on the another and they, there is a range of all the colors uh, so you can easily uh, find some matching ink and all the collection is pretty and the packaging is also designed by um, Jane so it all matches perfectly. That's it for today. Uh, I will leave uh, you links uh, below to every uh, item I have and to the whole collection so you can check them out. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye!